What's up guys and welcome back, I'm Pope John Paul and we're here with a Rise of Mordor custom battle for you. It's uh, planned to be part of a little mini-series I have going on, it's using the Fifes of Gondor mod. Um, so we have some new factions um, to show off, all based off Gondor, so they've got a lot of Gondorian armor going on here. This is Penneth Gillen, the faction I'm playing as, defending uh, this sort of area of like open ground. It's there's like three capture points I am defending, um, and we are against Landon and Lebanon, who are two of the factions of uh, Gondor. So Gondor is at war. It's a civil war going on between three factions. Landon and Lebanon are teaming up to basically take down Penneth Gillen, since Penneth Gillen is the only fife in the area with a capable army of taking on um, these two factions being raised by the king. These men, loyal to the king, will try and defeat these rebel scum. Um, but there is another army mustering uh, from by the king, ordered by the king. He's mustering another army to come and aid these Penneth Gillen troops. And hopefully he can do just that um, uh, and arrive on the field. So... The, uh, unfortunately though, there's a sheer difference in class of troops, and the Penneth Gillen are outclassed, mainly because these two factions are richer areas of Gondor. So we'll quickly go over some of the troops that I have at my disposal. We have some Green Hill Farmer's Spear and Sword in the front lines defending this choke point. We have some, I think we have about four units of Mounted Knights. Um, here is like a small defense in the rear defending this capture point. We have quite a lot of foot soldiers, about 10 units. Um, these guys are basically going to be my main infantry. Looking very handy. Very, very smart. And um, what else do we have? We have, um, I think we have some more uh, foot soldiers, but like spears somewhere, I think. Oh, we have more farmers here. These guys are already crushing um, these Lambda men at arms. We have archers, we have a couple of ar units of archers, some skirmishers, some Penneth Gillen knights, which don't look as good as they sound. They're just like basic Gondor infantry, but they look really cool, I think. Um, and then we have our general, oh no, here we go, here's some spears. Penneth Gillen foot soldiers with spears. These guys look pretty handy. As well, I don't know why I'm using the word handy, of course they're going to be handy. They've got swords and spears and shields. They're going to kill some men. And then we've also got our general here, who is ha Halloween, Halloween the Fair. I'm guessing that's how you say his name. Let's. There you go. The unwashed bastards. They're fighting back, apparently. Well, there you go. There he is, Halloween the Fair. So he looks pretty handy. He looks very majestic. So what do we have here? Pen um, these are they're my guys, Penneth Gillen. We have Lambda Men at Arms, which look actually probably worse off than my men. Uh, we have men fleeing already? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're farmers. I don't expect anything else. They're getting focused down by uh, Lebanon skirmishers. I mean, these guys are basically looking very similar to what um, my faction looked like. There are some uh, kind of unique units like the Lambdon Axemen over here. I'm pretty sure they're a unique unit. They look, they look quite cool. Um, and then there's some guards somewhere. Where are they? Oh, knights. There they are. Lambdon knights. These guys look e equally... Actually, no. These guys look just like mine. There are some guards somewhere. I swear. There we go. Eleven import guards. These... which ha They have sword and spear to some of them. But here's the sword version. They look quite cool, actually. With their, like... I don't know. This, like, Carfract armor almost a bit. Um, reminds me of. But, um, anyway, guys. If you... Do enjoy this mini series. I do plan to do one of these at least a week. Um, there'll be a new battle um, with the person I'm doing it with, um, organizing the scenarios. So we should have one coming out a every week. If you want to continue to see a continuation of this series, please do leave a like and subscribe. If you're new around here, um, all the support is very much appreciated. So on, anyway, on with the on with the battle. It's going to be a long and drawn out one, I imagine. Um, so do. Get ready, get comfy, 
and uh, maybe get yourself some snacks just to enjoy this glorious battle. But it looks like here we have held back with our Penithgill and Knights, the uh, the first wave of Lambda Men at Arms. We do outclass them, and it looks like they're going to just try and shoot us down with arrows. So I form a, a form shield wall to uh, stop any loose arrows getting through. Here we're also being very successful um, with our farmers. Uh, would you believe it? Against uh, London men at arms, we also have some of our own uh, foot soldiers in there, so we should be able to hold these guys at bay. And it looks like those farmers that broke have returned to the field, which is what we want to see. And I think we've got some support from. Oh no, are these enemy? Yeah, London skirmishers. What the heck are they doing here? And these are actually foot spears. Um, so those farmers didn't re return. That's actually quite sad. Um, but it does look like we've broken those Axemen. I did have a small sneaky force here that was going to go around and surround them. But instead I'm going to bring them into the front line because there is a huge gap here. Starting to form, which I'm a bit concerned about. Which could condemn, condemn both of these sort of, uh, offensives. Not offensives. Actually, defensives. Um, all unit, these, these two fights, anyway. We are losing this one probably out just out of sheer numbers. Also, there's some port guard in here. Let's have a look at these port guard. I think these are all port guard here. Yeah. With their spears. Against my foot soldiers, these guys are going to get outclassed in a prolonged melee like this. The armor is just inferior. And training, of course. You don't get that armor without a good amount of training. So anyway, I'm holding my ground here, um, probably resting these guys up before I send them in to probably support in this fight here. I should probably send them through this gap and try and surround these uh, port guard. I think I do eventually get around to doing that. Um, on the far left, um, the farmers are holding their ground. Would you believe it? These farmers, outnumbered and outclassed, are holding their ground against, I, pre I think it was some of their cheaper stuff. Oh no, London Knights with spears. These guys are going to be pretty good. And Lebanon Marines. Actually, yeah, the London, uh, Lebanon, these? what are these? Oh, Port Guard, yet to go in as well. So there's some really good units in here. Some insanely good units. Um, but we're holding our ground. Come on, farmers. Look at these guys. They don't even have proper weapons. This guy's got a pitchfork. A wooden one as well. And he's holding off against the Marine. This is a respectable defense by them by these farmers. So as you can see, we have three areas to defend. There's one here on the hill, which they can only assault from here. So I have some units of foot soldiers, uh, spear protecting. Um, they probably will have to get mobile to go elsewhere. We have another one back here, defended by about four units, and we have another one over here, which I've oh overshot it, um, which I've yet to defend, but. Um, we will eventually. They have got some Lebanon skirmishers, which I didn't see. Don't remember this happening, but chasing down. Being chased down by these foot soldiers. I must have been looking elsewhere, microing. Um, not worrying about this. That is concerning. We need to sort that out. Can't have uh, skirmishers running around in our back. But I mean, it looks like we're going to win on this flank as well, because they're running out of troops quite quickly. We have quite a thick line still. But our men are breaking somewhere else. Where else are we breaking? Oh! Oh, here. This is where I'm a bit more concerned about stuff. Mainly because... Well, look at the size of this, like, force that's being mobilized here. I do have a fair amount of stuff, but I'm not also defending a choke point like I am elsewhere. I've defeated all the forces here. Um, with these foot soldiers and, uh, and farmers. Um, so it's now time to probably mobilize them elsewhere, either go around and surround these port guard, or maybe just come and support over here. But we are now breaking all their, uh, for infant all their infantry, and it's just down to some archers and actually a little bit of swords, but we're probably going to break them as well. That is, that is great, great news. Um, our skirmishers not faring so well, um, they are being out-skirmished by archers and other skirmishers, uh, marines, but... I don't know. I think we've got a good chance. If we can hold them off, I think we can win in other areas um, and then come and deal with this main force. This is also the other area where we just need to hold them off. Um, because they have a lot of troops here, a lot of reserves, um, many elite units, marines. 
not so they're trained as you see there Lebanon Port Guard elite more Lebanon Marines um, so they've got a lot of stuff all of them spears so my cavalry also has kind of been made redundant but these farmers look at them like I said earlier doing well this guy here he's got to go back to the go back to his fields he's got to go make some uh, make some tea for his wife and then he's got to go out and plow some fields but first before he can do all that he's got to go and uh, defeat some rebel Gondorian uh, soldiers oh oh he's dead oh his wife's not getting that tea ah it was going to be a fish supper as well he's not getting his and that wife's not getting her fish supper oh well and now this guy's probably going to get killed as well no this guy doesn't even care. He's going to turn his back on these farms. He's like, I'm so good. I don't even need to face you. He's taking on four guys. Five guys now. None of them can beat him. Come on, someone kill this man. The audacity. He's not even facing you. Just stab him in the back. Ugh. No. Nope. No one's going to do the job. No one's going to do that. We broke... Oh, they've... The enemy have rallied their units. Okay, so we beat them here as well, but... So we must have found... Killed that Scotia unit off, because that fight, that unit of uh, foot soldiers is coming back. Um, these units are basically all but dead. If they assault again, they're just going to break. Um, so we really need to sur surround these uh, units here. Um, and hopefully break them quickly. Because... These port guard barely lost any units. Are they all port guard? I think they are. Jesus, they're exhausted. But they're they've only lost about twelve unit, uh, twelve men. Could really do with uh, killing some more. I'm quickly mobilizing these spears elsewhere. I don't know where these guys are going. The enemy are going for my general. Oh my gosh, there's a huge fight that's going on here. Right, so my general's going in to fight theirs. I'm supported by some mounted knights. It's now getting all interesting now. This is going to be... Whoever kills this general, you imagine, will win. Uh, just because of Attila's, like, morale um, debuff if you lose your general. So, it's um, Harlan the Fair. Is this general called anything? Oh, he's called Angbor the Fearless. What a name. Both these names are pretty good. Halloween the Fair. I um, have a feeling he could win. Just because he's called the Fair, he's supposed to be good. Lord of the Rings, good beats evil. That's how it works, right? Um, but, I mean, we are actually losing here to some London Knights. We are fighting with Penis Foot Soldiers. These guys are outclassed. Um, so, it, it's kind of holding back the inevitable now, it looks like, on this front. We're barely holding. And... It's not in a choke point, which I was really happy with. We need to... Look, these poor guys are retreating. You cowards, come back. But uh, no. So we need to uh, quickly try and find a way to sort out this solution. Find a solution for this. Oh, not sort out the solution. We need a solution to this problem. Um, but, I mean, it doesn't look good. They've already, like, broken us here. They're now able to get straight out off of this... Uh, victory point so I'm sending back spears to just go and defend because it is another easy one to defend it's just this one choke point here and they've used most of their ammo up on the, with their archers so far I've seen skirmishes may have a little bit left but we can stop them um, I'm mobilizing this cavalry unit here to come forward and um, do some damage we've defeated there was a fight here and there is still a little bit of a fight there's so much action I can't get it all I'm sorry guys there is a fight going on here but we are winning this one and hopefully then we can send these units going to help support the king in that fight over there. Which would massively help. You brave, brave men from Penneth Gillen. I mean, yeah, look at these guys. These guys will not stand long. These must be... Are these knights with spears? Yeah. These are elite. These are... Lambda and Lebanon have so many more elite units than me, it's getting difficult to defeat them. But we're doing our best. Anything they throw at us, we'll throw back. And here comes the cavalry that I mobilized. That's a beautiful sight to see. 
There they are. Getting ready, getting their orders. Let's watch as we cut down these last few nights. Yes. Kill them all. Someone kill this guy here. Like, he's surrounded by about... Nope. He's not going to even... Not even yep, yeah, there he goes. Someone stabbed him. Good to see. Right, so... It doesn't look good. I don't think... I can't even see the king, actually. Is that him there? Harlow in the fair is in a sticky position. Oh, dear, yes. We need to get some infantry over there to support. I don't know what this foot guard's doing, but they really need to get in there and help. I clearly was looking elsewhere. Probably might go in over here with that fight. And then I'll get my cavalry to go uh, around and encircle this uh, force here. Our general has just fallen. Harlowin is dead. It's a sad day for Penneth Gillen and for the loyalist uh, regime. But there we go. We're going to send in a few volleys uh, to just kill a few more of these London knights off. And that's what we think about them killing our great prince. I think he is a prince, Harlowin, fair. But I mean, now they have uh, free reign over the over the rear, and they could probably go for those archers if they wanted to. I would if I was them. So they're doing quite a lot of damage. No, they're going to turn around. Actually, I don't know what they're doing. What they're doing is allowing me to become uh, easy targets. Here they go. They're going to run down these archers. Yeah, these archers, which did so much damage, are now getting run down, and we're in a bit of a we're in a very big problem over here. This is. Well, you see all these unit, enemy units here. We are in a very bad position. We're just outnumbering them, surprisingly. Um, we were at number to start with, but we've actually killed so many of them that we've taken... Well, we had taken the lead, but we have just gone beyond now, uh, below again. Um, it is becoming a bit dire, is the situation. But we have a cavalry charge here. Maybe this can reclaim this front. And here we go, a cavalry charge going in, killing some skirmishers. And some archers, and this will hopefully kill off a couple more hundred of their men, and also um, damages their skirmishing capabilities, um, so we can actually defend these choke points a bit more effectively if it comes to that. And they're going to actually send forward all their spears to carry on the offensive and just condemn their archers and skirmishers, which I'm perfectly fine with. Look at these men, desperately trying to defend against these uh, mounted knights. They are doomed. So there we go. I think, yeah, we're winning effectively here. London archers, they're going to get cut down. Yeah, and they're quite happy to do that. I'm actually strangely sending my infantry in to combat here. I think I'm a bit worried about, well, they're just being held back by farmers and he sent forward more fresh units to uh, hold the line. So what I should really do is get some units to get around these guys. If I surround these guys, I probably will break them a lot quicker. What's the balance of power saying? It's actually very close again. After that carry charge, we did kill a lot of their men. Um, we have surrounded them here on the far right. Um, though we're breaking. Look at this. These port guard have still barely lost any men. These guys are insanely powerful. I don't know what to do against them. I really should have got more archers on them. And skirmishers to kill these guys. They are so powerful. There you go, the men are throwing down their weapons and are fleeing. Where are they fleeing now? Oh, it was just there where we just left. A unit of 43. That's... It is quite weak, to be fair. But they're surrounding these guys. They should be very confident. General is dead, in fairness. If the general wasn't dead, it may be different. But the cavalry has now been attacked by um, Lebanon Port Guard. I don't know how I didn't see this coming. Um, but we are actually still winning. Um, very decisively, but we're about to charge out and we're going to go and take out these skirmishes once and for all. And those spears hopefully can't catch us. Don't fight the spears when we're retreating. Oh, there's so many men that are lost for no reason. Those archers are basically broken now. They're down to 27. And these ones, uh, these Lebanon skirmishes also basically broken. Weep for a 
run these. They're still alive. Run these guys down. They have the audacity to survive. As to these archers. But there's a major waver now going on the front line. Um, I don't know whether. How long. How much longer we can hold. There are still farms in here. There's farmers which have been here since the very beginning. The lowest tier unit has been able to hold off against port guard and marines and knights. I can only tip my hat to those farmers. They must be really desperate to get home and cook for their wives. But I mean, some marines have pulled through? What? How they ma- uh, Ah, there's a gap. They must have pulled through here. And uh, yes, they- I don't know where they're going. Well, I'm going to have to demobilize these reserves. These reserves are going to be- And they have got their general here. And more the fearless and mounted knights. I don't know. It's possible we could ambush this force. I think it's possible. And then we could turn the tide back on London and Lebanon. Because if we can kill their general, they're in the same situation as us. Look at Angle, though. Let's just look at him with his blue blue cape. Where is he? There he is. Angle, he's looking very good. Let's put this in slow-mo so we can uh, keep, keep pace with him. Look at that guy. He's just looking... Well, he is fearless. They do say. Oh, very nice. Well, well, less of that. More play. So they are trying to actually go straight for this uh, cat point. Not that they. I think these guys are hidden. Yes, these guys are hidden. So they are unaware of the foot guards or the foot soldiers that are waiting for them. And I think they are about to become. Uh, there we go. They are now be able to be seen. Will he make the charge? He's going to try the next the next uh, hole, I guess. Or next choke point. See if there's any uh, chance king in there. These guys will eventually become seen. And they'll be like, well, we can't do anything here. These Greenhill farmers are retreating in the wrong direction. I don't know why I didn't charge into the flank. Um, maybe I was microing somewhere else. That would it, but it would have been very handy to uh, just charge into the flank. and Could have done some good damage. Oh, and here we go, some Lebanon Marines charging in. Again, I don't really remember this happening. But maybe again, I was microing somewhere else. But I'm now sending in... Okay, so the cavalry... Oh, dear. The cavalry's in a very big loop and could now threaten the rear of this whole formation, which would condemn it. Um, these Lebanon Marines are just going to stand here, it seems, and just... Look at my foot soldiers. There is some major breaking going on here. This cavalry is... Um, well, it's evaded. Um, it's just surrounded here. And it's now going for a, a charge on these guys. These skirmishers are still alive. It's not run these guys down enough. One after another, these charges. And they still, but here we go. A very thin line dead. Good. These port guard. They need to die. Too many of them have killed my men. He just got two and one. Or that, no, that guy might get up. But I mean, we are in trouble here now. Um, this cavalry is coming a little bit too late to really do anything. I'm going to try and pull it through and do some damage here. Uh, it looks like it's going to get trapped and probably killed. Our men flee the field of battle. Yeah, this is this is shameful. But here we go. So those mountain knights are coming to smash us in the rear. This is probably going to seal the fate for this whole formation here. But we're still holding on this far side. But these port guard, my god, these guys won't die. Don't even know what these guys are doing. It's port guard. I mean, the main formation stalled. It's not even trying to defend. Oh, not even trying to attack this defense here. Which is just made up of, um, well, farmers and some foot soldiers with spears. It's a thick line, though. It will take a bit to get through. Whether they'll hold, because their general said that we also have some archers to support them with a fair amount of ammo left. A fresh unit. Um, we'll see where they can hold. I mean, that's not looking good now. The front line on this side is gone. Um, this side, uh, there's not much of it left to go. Um... They've, they've held for a long time though. They've held since the beginning of the battle. 
Um, in fairness, there has been a regular supply of uh, troops going in here to help support it. It has sucked up a lot of troops. But they've done us proud of the Penithkillian troops here. Help holding back. I mean, look at all these guys that are dead. It's just littered with bodies here. What do we, I don't know how many of them are our troops, but there's a lot of dead marines on the ground as well. Why are the farmers running in this direction? Are your homes in this direction? Well, if they are, you're going to die on the way. Like, you you could you could take the other routes home. Go and feed your wives fish suppers. Oh, look, that guy. He made the mistake. Oh, you got through. He sacrificed your life so four of you could get through. Five of you could get through and get that fish supper to your wives. It was like a, it was like a little corridor. They were just like, yep, you try and get through and we'll stab you on the way. But here we go. What's left? Oh dear, not looking good. Breaking. Um, so reserves of, uh, well, from this uh, bit here, are broken. Some Lebanon Marines that were out here on their own. But this one has been intercepted by Lambden Mounted Knights. And swords versus cavalry. When the cavalry charge, it's going to end, end poorly. So uh, we are going to um, probably lose this one. Actually, no, these aren't even... These are these swords or are they spears? They're spears. These guys are being broken. I know it is swords. There's just a spear unit that's already broken that's mixed in there. I mean, they're actually going to be spared, it would seem. I don't know. Very bizarre. But I mean, so we're going to have to mobilize these two other uh, sword units to try and save this whole flank. But I mean, it's basically done for. They now have overwhelmingly um, outnumbered us here. They're actually going to encircle us now after we encircle them. These knights could not break these port guard for the entire battle. They're being shot in the back. Look how bloodied up these guys are. They've been fighting since the start as well. Still a hundred of them left. Oh. Like, look at, look at these guys. This guy's just got arrows in his back. This one's got one through his arm. Mad lads. Holding on this long. These port guard. Relentless. These, these guys are now my, like, my nemesis. I hate these guys so bad. They're up there with horse archers and uh, Attila sieges. The worst things I hate. Attila sieges, to be precise, arch towers. God, I hate them. I mean, uh, look at this guy. He's been, he's clearly seen a lot of fighting. He's killed so many farmers. And uh, he's all bloody up. Like, he's just covered in farmer's blood. What a savage. And now it looks like they're going to send in some, like, archers or something just around us to seal these guys' fate. Effective, but it will probably work. They're now surrounded. Um, they're still even, and they've only lost about 20 men since they've been surrounded. Um, but they have finally taken one victory point. Held by, well, it's saying held by Gondor. Oh, the Fives of Gondor. Well, yeah, they all are held by the Fives. Oh, this one's Penneth of Gillen. I guess, yes, it's Fives of Gondor because they're actually two factions that they molded together here. But, I mean, here we go. We're still actually breaking spears. How are these foot soldiers still alive? They have won, and they're going to break this unit. They broke this year. My god. This sword unit is doing well. It's so chevroned up. Make them suffer indeed. And now you're going to have to go in and fight these guys. Oh god. <laughs> There's so many of them left. Um, but we're breaking this cavalry. Thank god we're breaking this cavalry. Penneth Gillian foot soldiers. Uh, swords to, to break them. That is excellent. Going to kill them off. Um, and now... It's time to kill this... Oh, well, actually, I don't think we're going to kill this unit. Let's watch this charge. As the Mountain Knights charge in... And kill these guys. Oh, God. Swords against uh, cavalry. Not going to end well. That's actually not a good view. I don't like that. Let's get rid of that. Are they... It's probably, yeah, losing the size. But you've already lost 30 men. I mean, some of them they would have lost in that fight there, but... Not many, I doubt. Oh dear. It's it's painful to watch as these 
brave, brave men just get cut down by cavalry. Who are then not going to stay very long and then just wait until they break a bit. And then they're going to just charge again. But we could recon. We could, if these men move, go and retake this set, uh, this capture point. And that will be amazing. It would be blooming amazing. But I mean, it looks like... I don't know. I really don't know. Leave your sections. There we go. Apparently it's a ferric victory. Not quite sure how that happened because when I recorded this, it did end um, as a defeat for myself. So, in reality, it is actually a defeat. There was a huge chain route. Um, but I think because of the update to Rise of Mordor, it has corrupted this save. So, unfortunately, it's... Uh, well, yeah, corrupted the save. But the Penithglin does lose in the battle that happens. Lebanon does go on and... Um, Levin and Landon do go on and defeat uh, me. So there's a perfect victory here, but that probably not is not going to be the case um, when we do the story. So in the story, guys, um, Penithgillian has been defeated by Landon and Lebanon. Um, so the rebels march on and carry on the fight um, against the king. Um, some good units that did pretty well. So there's some foot, uh, well, some knights here. They've got 192 kills. That's very, very good. Um... Cavalry getting like 303, wow. Um, some f f farmers, 145 kills. It's farmers, well done them. Uh, 252 kills for that foot soldier unit. Excellent. Archers getting 222. They were decimating some units with those archers. They did very, very well. Um, Harleuin, I don't know how I'm saying his name. Harleuin? Harleuin, I'd say. The fair, 12 kills. Shocking. <laughs> Shocking. Um... Uh, let's see, Lebanon getting like, oh, Landon, sorry, getting 182 kills with their knights. That's probably one of their best units that did well. Um, probably Lebanon's best as a port guard here with swords, 133. That did pretty well. Nothing did amazingly for them. They just had a lot of units that did fairly average. Um, 180, 18 with that unit there with the port guard swords. Did fairly well. Um, but yeah, guys, if you enjoyed and want to see another episode, well, another like part of this mini-series I have uh, going on. Please leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.